And just like that, my summer has ended. I confess I wasn't quite ready to go back to the school routine with its super busy pace and exhausting days and weeks. As much as I love school and love learning, the pace of it is sometimes a little much for my, my quiet heart. After this first week, I have found myself feeling exhausted and already feeling a bit overwhelmed and wondering if I've made the right decision. Can I really do this? Do I really have the strength needed to make it through such a rigorous program? The older I've gotten, the more I've grown to appreciate slow living. I used to think that I had a type A personality that thrived on busyness. And while I could function in that kind of pace, this is not how I thrived. This was not what my soul needed. My heart longed for calm, but I just was afraid to slow down and let myself enjoy that kind of calm. I worried too much about things getting done and didn't allow myself time to rest. And now I'm dealing with the consequences of that. My battery does not last as long as it did. 10 years ago. And part of that's just getting older, but part of it is also the lifestyle that I lived for so long, pushing myself to the point of exhaustion over and over again. After this first week, I've been feeling quite run down and wondering how can I incorporate slow living into this kind of a pace? How can I take care of my heart and my body and my mind such that I will be able to do well in school and accomplish the goal that I've set out to reach? I confess it's difficult. There's always something to be done. There's always more reading. There's always more writing, always more papers to grade. And it's very easy for me to simply push taking care of myself to the back burner and focus only on the immediate needs. But I've decided that I'm going to have to carve out time for slow-paced days, maybe even just moments. Maybe I don't have a full day that I can set aside one week or another, and all I can set out is just an evening or a few hours of an afternoon for resting and enjoying life. But regardless, I'm determined to do it, and I've got a few different ways that I, in particular, like to slow down my pace and just breathe. One of my favorite things to do is homemaking things. I love baking, cooking, decorating my home, yes, even cleaning my home. It's a form of rest for me, and while it may feel like a chore to some people, I have found that doing something that cultivates my home environment is so calming and therapeutic for me. The act of simply slowing down and doing something with my hands, especially after spending so many hours living the life of the mind as a scholar and teacher, is such a gift to me. Another thing that I love to do is spend some time outdoors, especially with my dog. Just getting outside, enjoying that beauty and the fresh air and noticing the changing seasons around me and getting out my camera and making videos or taking photos or even drawing sketches of things that I would later like to paint. 
that experience is so restful for my heart. One day I hope to be able to make my entire life a slow life, a life at home, a life where I'm working for myself, preferably creatively if I can, and just enjoying my days, enjoying the beauty, enjoying the good gifts that I have surrounding me, creating new things, blessing others. But for now, I can't make that a full-time reality, but I can carve out little spaces of slow living even in a very fast-paced life. Wherever you are, I hope you have a lovely day or night. 